second largest city in the German state of Bavaria, but it has played host to some of the largest impacts on world history. With so much to take in, where should you start your trip? There are so many things to do in Nuremberg, from getting to experience the historic wonders of Nuremberg Castle, to shopping at the Hauptmarkt, and a ton of stuff in between. Looking for the top things to do in Nuremberg? Check out the description for tours, accommodations, and all the info you need to plan your next trip to Germany. But enough small talk. Let's get into 10 of the best things Nuremberg has to offer. Let's start with that big old castle I mentioned just now. Also known as the Imperial Castle, Nuremberg Castle is considered to be one of the most formidable medieval fortifications in all of Europe. Some of the earliest parts of Nuremberg Castle date back to the year 1000. Construction on the castle continued for the next 250 years as buildings were added and fortifications strengthened. Nuremberg Castle remained a centre of power for the Holy Roman Empire until the Thirty Years' War shifted political power in Europe. Nuremberg Castle was almost entirely destroyed during bombing raids in World War II. After decades of repair, Nuremberg Castle has been returned to its historic stature. Today, Nuremberg Castle is owned and operated by the state of Bavaria. It's gotten a few modern updates that are great for tourists. Nuremberg Castle now boasts a gift shop, Wi-Fi throughout the castle, and audio tours, as well as guided tours. Nuremberg Castle is open for tourism nearly every day of the year, except for Christmas and New Year's. You can even rent out the Knights Hall and Nuremberg Castle for your own private event. After touring the castle's famous gardens, you can dine at Berg Café Beer, the officially franchised restaurant of Nuremberg Castle. Nuremberg Castle is located near other historic sites operated by the Bavarian Palace Administration, including the Rothenburg Fortress Ruins and Kadolsberg Castle. The Hauptmarkt is one of the largest markets in Nuremberg, and it's located in the heart of the city. Whether you're just passing through or you're visiting Nuremberg for an extended vacation, no trip to this historic Bavarian city is complete without a trip to the Hauptmarkt. The Hauptmarkt is primarily open during weekdays where you can find a bustling market full of international produce, German cuisine and products. The shops come to life with rare delicacies from all over Europe and indeed the world. Shoppers at the Hauptmarkt are treated to a blend of old world German history and cosmopolitan European flair. You can shop for some souvenirs to take home from your trip or pick up some ingredients for the night's dinner. No Bavarian market would be complete without some beer. The Hauptmarkt has no shortage of places to sample a variety of delicious German beers, as well as wine. The Hauptmarkt sits nestled in one of Nuremberg's best neighbourhoods for fans of Gothic architecture. A stunning cathedral overlooks the market, and walking down any of the money side streets will take you down a tour of some of Nuremberg's best historic architecture. The best time of year to visit Hauptmarkt is during the Christmas season. Christmas markets are iconic through all of Germany, but Hauptmarkt is one of the most impressive. If you visit Hauptmarkt in time for the first advent, you can see the Nuremberg Christmas Angel, which draws visitors from all over the world to this iconic market. No matter what time of year you visit the Hauptmarkt, though, you're sure to have a shopping experience right out of the history books. The Nuremberg Transport Museum is easily one of the top things to do in Nuremberg. It's actually a joint venture formed by two separate museums. The DB Museum, now called the Company Museum of the Deutsche Bahn AG, is the official museum of Germany's National Railway Company. The DB Museum has been recognised as one of the flagship institutions of European industrial cultural heritage, and its history is now over a hundred years old. The other half of the Nuremberg Transport Museum is the Museum of Communications. The Museum of Communications used to be a dedicated building for the Royal Bavarian Postal Museum, but they have since combined these museums into one attraction. The Museum of Communications features some of Germany's oldest historic records for communications technologies. You'll be able to find everything from postal services delivered by horse-drawn coaches to modern satellites. The Nuremberg Transport Museum is conveniently located in the heart of Nuremberg, which means it's only a short walk from other attractions like the Hauptmark or St. Lawrence Church. St. Lawrence Church is a cathedral that features some of the most stunning Gothic architecture in all of Nuremberg. 
Whether you're headed to the St. Lawrence Church to attend a service, or you want to take a tour of this architectural wonder, you won't be disappointed with your visit. Historically, it took hundreds of years to build a single cathedral, and St. Lawrence Church was no different, being under construction for a little over 200 years before it was completed in 1477. Like many of the buildings in Nuremberg, the St. Lawrence Church was heavily damaged during World War II. Historic preservation efforts after the war helped to save this building and restore it to its former status. To this day, there are ongoing construction projects in the St. Lawrence Church that are subject of some controversy. There are currently plans to redesign the interior of the St. Lawrence Church, which would considerably change the character of this historic landmark. The St. Lawrence Church is recognized as one of the three most important churches in all of Nuremberg. The oldest of its 16 bells was even cast in the 1400s. If that's not enough historic wonder for you, the three-part pipe organ in the St. Lawrence Church is recognized as being one of the oldest in the entire world. It features 12,000 pipes and 165 registers. Visitors are free to enter the church as they choose, and you can even take a guided tour of one of its towers. The Roman Catholic Frauenkirche, or Church of Our Lady, is another iconic cathedral located in the city of Nuremberg. This cathedral was completed in the 1300s and is one of the most prominent sites overlooking the town's old market. The Frauenkirche was almost entirely destroyed during a bombing raid during World War II. In fact, the entirety of the church was leveled, except for two standing walls. Reconstruction efforts began for the Frauenkirche in the 1950s and weren't completed until the 1990s. The church that stands today is a recreation of the historic building using those standing walls and materials that remained. The Frauenkirche is known for housing important medieval artworks and religious artifacts. The Frauenkirche makes a great place for tourists who are interested in checking out a unique piece of historical architecture as well as the art pieces it houses. One of the best times of year for tourists to check out the Frauenkirche is by visiting during the yearly Christmas market. The opening ceremony for the Christmas market starts at the Frauenkirche and is a ceremony you won't want to miss. Like many historic churches and cathedrals throughout Germany, tourists are free to visit the Frauenkirche with a small suggested donation. You can find guided tours as well as guides on historic artworks in the Frauenkirche as well. The Germanic National Museum is Germany's largest cultural history museum and is recognized as being an important institution throughout German-speaking Europe. Founded in 1852, the Germanic National Museum is both an important cultural center and a site of ongoing research into the history of both modern-day Germany and historic entities like the Holy Roman Empire and European prehistory. Have you ever wondered what daily life was like for people in German-speaking Europe up to the 1700s? What about exploring the kinds of toys that Germans have used throughout history? You can discover everything there is to know about German cultural history at the Germanic National Museum. The museum features a collection of more than one million different pieces relating to German history. Their permanent collection is beyond impressive, but they also feature rotating exhibits and traveling attractions, so there's always something new to see. It wouldn't be a museum without a gift shop full of unique wonders that you can bring home to commemorate your travels. There's also a refined cafe located in the Germanic National Museum that makes a perfect place to rest your feet after spending a day exploring this magnificent museum. The Albrecht Dürer House was built around 1420 and became the home of Albrecht Dürer in the 1500s. Dürer was a Renaissance painter, artist and theorist at the forefront of German cultural growth in the period. Since 1871, the house has been a museum dedicated to the artist's life as well as his work. You can tour the home to this very day and explore the unique artworks as well as learn about the life of this Renaissance painter. Again, the house was severely damaged by a bombing raid during World War II. It took several decades for the house to be fully restored to its former glory as one of Germany's most niche and interesting museums. Some of the unique exhibits include a digital exhibition of the artist's entire library of work. This even includes works that are not housed in the museum and are owned by different institutions throughout the world. You can also see a dedicated exhibit that displays how the artist achieved his unique painting techniques. The Albrecht Dürer Haus is like something out of time. You can learn about life as a Renaissance artist preserved in modern-day Nuremberg. Nuremberg is a city with a deep and complicated history. However, some of the most interesting things to see and do in Nuremberg have only been built in the last several years. 
The Neues Museum Nuremberg, or New Nuremberg Museum, was only built in the 1990s, making it one of the most modern attractions on this list. It's a museum dedicated to modern art and cultural expression. The exhibits inside the New Nuremberg Museum range from paintings to sculptures to avant-garde artistic expressions that are sure to get your curiosity sparked. If you're getting a little tired of visiting historic landmarks, swing by this modern art museum to revive your senses. Everything about the new Nuremberg Museum is exciting and new. It was designed by a contemporary architect looking to break from tradition, and even features beekeeping on the roof. You can even buy the honey, known as city gold, in the gift shop. The documentation center Nazi Party Rally Grounds is one of the most important and most challenging museums in all of Nuremberg. It is one of two attractions on this list that we insist you visit. It's a museum dedicated to the frank preservation of Germany's troubling history during and after World War II. This museum seeks to specifically highlight the famous Nuremberg rallies that took place here, the largest of which drew a crowd of nearly one million Nazi-loving Germans. Nuremberg was used for frequent Nazi party rallies between 1923 to 1939. The documentation center Nazi Party Rally Grounds seeks to educate the community on how this historic evil came to pass and how the consequences of this disgusting chapter are still felt today. Every detail about the documentation center Nazi Party Rally Grounds speaks to its history. Nazi architect Albert Speer designed the original building that the documentation center Nazi Party Rally Grounds now resides in. However, in 1998, Austrian architect Gunther Domenig won the international contest for designing the new museum grounds. Dominic's design was to cut a spear of glass through the centre of the building, both as a pun mocking Albert Speer and a refutation of his work. Today, tourists from all over the world visit the documentation centre Nazi Party Rally Grounds to learn more about the complicated history of Nuremberg and Germany. One of the most important buildings in world history is located in the Nuremberg Palace of Justice and is the other location on this list that you must visit. Courtroom 600 is where the Nuremberg trials were held between 1945 and 1946. These were the trials where surviving Nazi party leaders had to answer for their many crimes in front of a military tribunal. Today, Courtroom 600 remains a functioning courtroom it sees ongoing litigation for important issues that impact Germany and the rest of the world. Above Courtroom 600 rests the Nuremberg Trials Memorial. This memorial is a small museum dedicated to those trials and how they went on to shape international law. The memorial houses biographies of the defendants as well as their crimes, in addition to the history of the trials. There are also exhibits discussing how these trials laid the foundation for modern international relations. The Nuremberg Trials Memorial is also a forward-facing institution, looking at the world we live in today. You can find exhibits on modern issues like combating far-right extremism at the Nuremberg Trials Memorial. Visiting a city like Nuremberg means exploring a broad and complex history. Taking some time to stop by the Nuremberg Trials Memorial is one of the best ways to situate your understanding of Nuremberg and its place in our modern world. Well, that's all we've got time for today. Which of the best things to do in Nuremberg are you going to try first? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching this wee vid. Make sure to subscribe to this here YouTube channel for all the tips you need to visit Germany and more. We have all the latest info on tours, accommodations and all your travel needs in the description below. And you can learn even more about the travel-based shenanigans we get up to at viatravelers.com. But for now, it's Auf Wiedersehen from me and Tschüss from VT. Thank you.